The internet has changed the way that we communicate and the way we look at the world. But while the benefits of the internet are undeniable, there's vulnerability which is levied with each keystroke, financial transaction, and message or video that we send. Welcome back to another edition of Electric TV. As always, I'm your host, Dominic Giratano, and it's a fact. Cyber criminals are everywhere these days. That's why it's important to train security teams, develop infrastructure, and deploy those defenses to keep the public safe. And it's also why the NECA IBEW team is being called upon to build a new facility that will help usher in a new era of cyber security. In a sleepy town on the edge of the Georgia-South Carolina line, in a seemingly normal university campus, is perhaps the country's best institution for cybersecurity training, or will be, once construction is complete. The Georgia Cyber Innovation and Training Center is a part of Augusta University's Riverfront Campus and is shorter than a stone's throw from IBEW Local 1579's Union Hall. So close that winning the work was the only option to local leadership. Well, the Cyber Center started in, it's been about a year. It took less than a year to finish the first building. It was a $65 million project. So now they're working on the second building. It's a $35 million project. So you're looking at about $100 million. I worked extra hard to make sure all our contractors were in there uh, bidding the project. And England Stubbs come through for us, and we appreciate that. NECA contractor Inglet and Stubbs has a strong relationship with Local 1579, and with a tight 18-month window to complete a two-building project, they knew skilled labor was imperative in order to be successful. What I'm used to is a lot of the big jobs going on as they want jobs done yesterday, and the only way to really provide that and to get skilled labor is through the like the IBEW and NECA. They are trained, so more of knowing what you're getting. We can hit them at all angles, inside, outside. You just got to get comfortable going well. I enjoyed my journey, you know. It was tough at first coming up, like I said, because I was green, but now, you know, it's a lot easier. When you get your ticket, and that ticket is it, it, like a big relief because you're like, now I made it, you know, the tough time over. I ain't got, I really don't have to prove myself to the JWs now because now I'm a JW but I, I can show them what type of JW I want to be. And then whatever apprentice is coming up under me, you know, I can kind of lead them in a direction, you know, same direction I went. And after that, you can branch off and, you know, do your own thing once you get your team. You also have to look ahead. You, you know, you have to foresee the finished product in order to make it look right as you go. You know, having the, the background, having the experience to, to, to foresee what you're doing now how it'll play out a month from now or six months from now. Yeah, it's, it's experience mostly. Which now, England and Stubbs, they do a great job on the, the shop drawings. You know, they try to lay out all of our strut racks and, and where the conduit will be placed. They do an excellent job. The Cyber Center will now be used as an education and training facility for military personnel, college students, and private companies. And with so much technology necessary for this project, members of the Powering America team have had to keep an open mind and stay prepared. What they do these days and what I did in my day was, is almost obsolete compared to what they do now. The lighting along is not like a drop ceiling where you drop lights in. They have some fancy lights over there, almost neon looking. We've been able to adapt. A project like this one that will play an instrumental part of our country's safety and lead to over 200,000 cybersecurity jobs to be filled, it puts the work into perspective and shows the impact our team has on American infrastructure. It's becoming more and more cyber, so it's like, you know, I got a lot to do with the security. I played a major part in the safety of our country, you know what I mean? So it's like, my name's already on it, you can't take it off. And like on all projects, members of the Powering America team take pride in their commitment to upholding the code of excellence when it comes to safety and bettering themselves within the electrical industry. In IBEW, you want a JW, you ask for a JW. If you need an apprentice, you ask for an apprentice. And you know what you're asking for and what you're getting. Nika and IBEW are, they're partnering up. It promotes a better job, not only a better livelihood for us, 
Yeah. That's all for this edition. Please follow us on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information. I'm Dominic Giratano. See you next time.